Hey guys, my name is Ismos and today we're going to be looking at uh, this amazing add-on called Blender GIS. Basically, it is just an add-on that lets you import Google Map information into Blender. You can also use Bing Maps and uh, extract geographical data and uh, buildings, roads, anything directly into Blender. So I'll be leaving a link in the description so that you can go to this page and download it directly uh, by clicking on this button here and then clicking on download zip file. And uh, in Blender, you just install it as any other add-on so you just go under edit preferences add-ons and then hit install navigate to where the add-on is downloaded and then select install add-on now make sure to activate it and uh, this is the interface or the settings for the add-on uh, you can look through them or change anything uh, you want here but uh, i find that uh, the default settings are okay and work just fine so after installing it you will find uh, all its settings and uh, parameters under uh, this stop menu here under GIS uh, you can still navigate to the settings by clicking on the preferences and uh, it will take you to the add-on itself uh, to get uh, the different settings if you want to change any of uh, that so yeah and uh, if you look at uh, the github page you'll see how the add-on works it has a lot of uh, useful features uh, you can also just import data from geographical websites and I uh, extract meshes uh, directly from that as you can see he's doing here so let me just take you through uh, some of the basics uh, if you want to extract any information from any part of the world you just go under uh, the gis and go under web geo data and then go to base map i can select the source i can see you have a few options here you have google being and other map sources click ok and it will load in other map for you so if you zoom out will keep refreshing your view and uh, loading different information basically how google maps works so let's find a location here after you're done you're still in uh, the map view mode so you need to hit escape to go out of that and uh, now that will bring back uh, the uh, the menu back here now you can go to uh, let's try extracting something uh, like this here again you can hit escape to go out of uh, map view then go to we can start by getting the elevation now we have our elevation now so we can go back and uh, select now start adding some buildings here but get sm and uh, start adding other buildings get osm and you can see we now have some buildings you can see how the buildings are aligning correctly uh, with our map you can also get other roads if you want to get that so if you go back to get osm you can find get the highways click ok and that should place in uh, the highways and see now we have all the road maps so the only problem is that uh, these are just as thin extruded lines uh, they're not they don't have any thickness to them uh, if you want to get the thickness what you can do is uh, convert this into a curve so if i go to object and then convert to curve we can create a profile a bevel profile here something like this i'll just change it to a vector and uh, I'll take this 45 degrees and uh, this is going to be the profile of our road then you can select the curve and the geometry you can select the bevel to be the object and uh, select that as our road a great thing about this is that you can change the thickness a bit and uh, make the roads the size you want and where you want the roads to be thicker so for example uh, this highway you just have to select that edge loop and use the option alt s to make it thicker to make that road you can see how that looks here and if you want to get the texture of the terrain like you see here all you have to do is uh, add a material let me just go to the materials here all you have to do is go to the materials and add an image texture all the texture maps are going to be available uh, there you can see what we have here so just view this you can see this is the map but uh, it's not going to be scaled right uh, so to make it to scale to scale it to size all you have to do is just add an empty uh, let's add this cube empty I'm just going to scale it up quite a bit like so and then i can add texture coordinate mapping and i use my empty as the object so empty make sure that you're using object coordinate mapping now if i scale this up let me bring the size of this just have to match 
at the different buildings. So I know this building here is uh, this one here. So I just have to mark that and I should be good to go. So let's go back here. I can even turn on wireframe just so I can see everything much clearly. I think that's about it, but I think uh, this is supposed to be rotated. So 180 degrees and then realign uh, this. And now you can see our roads match everything. So everything matches uh, like that. Are the ground and the buildings in place. Uh, another th feature that I find very useful in this uh, add-on, let me first get rid of uh, this, is this feature, is this uh, contour line uh, feature. So you can import contour lines into your scene and turn them into a mesh. But uh, if you don't have the contour lines, you can draw your own contour lines and uh, design your own terrains. So for example, uh, if, I, if I add a glaze pencil blank object, this and I start drawing some lines. If I go to draw mode, let me just zoom in quite a bit. If I start to draw some lines, so I can design my terrain. Let's say I want a river like that. Let me show why this is. Say I want to have a river flowing like this. And I want uh, this side to be a bit hilly. Can start drawing some lines there like that and I can make this side as well maybe I want a mountain here so you can design your own terrain so easily like that and then you can uh, go back object mode then convert this into geometry so if I go under, ob under object convert to path they should convert this to a path. Uh, another thing to note is that uh, when you're using this add-on, it will change your viewport uh, clip start to 100 meters uh, so that you can so that you're able to see uh, the entire scale of the map. So you want to reduce this to something like 0.1 and then maybe this back to something like 1000 so that the clip distance is not too high. And uh, now that we have these lines here, I know that uh, this is going to be my river flowing here. I can convert this from a curve object to a mesh because uh, the GIS add-on works with only meshes and I then start uh, working on my elevation. So if I can, I want the, the river to be a bit down like that and maybe give it a slight angle like that. Now this is going to be a bit up and up. And I want to have a hill here as well and uh, you can even use proportional editing in some areas just to have some nice vari variation like that now we have created our terrain uh, remember we want this to be a river so i think i can even make this i can make this river deeper by just duplicating this and this and uh, just dragging them down uh, so that they are the base of the river so it's going to be this deep maybe again give it that slight now to make this into actual geometry you just have to go to GIS then mesh uh, then use this triangulate at different traces and I can see we have our face so I'm just going to first turn off wireframe and just to see how this looks. You can see how our terrain has come up. We have our river, we have our mountain here uh, that we drew. So you can be as detailed as you want and, uh, and shade smooth and uh, then under this made modifier to reduce some of the geometry you have here. And uh, if you want, you can add in more details, but uh, yeah. And then you still have the original version here. So if I wanted to add in more extra details, I can just go in and uh, start just extruding curves like this for extra detail. So I can grab this, drag it up like that. And then mesh that we have our mountain there. So it's a quick way to draw 
terrains easily. And I think I'm going to be using this quite a lot in my videos. Yeah, thank you for watching.